It is a dog show at its heart, but it's a dog extravaganza, and there's everything here for dog owners and, and dog lovers, um, everything they can ever want. But you are right. We saw we've seen a huge increase in dogs' ownership during lockdown. And of course, that has brought with it a number of problems. But here at Crouch, you've got lots of responsible owners with, with their happy, healthy dogs, and it's a, it's a great celebration of dogs, quite frankly. We're I'm just. Sorry, to... I didn't hear a word you said. Sorry, Bill. The, the the reason is well, we did hear what you said, I but did. it's um, we, we've got visitors in the studio here. Two little uh, dogs that have that have come in. Um, I don't think they're being exhibited at Crofts, but um, uh, they're being exhibited in the studio here today. Um, so I hope you're not affected by the snow, Bill. No, the roads are nice and clear. We were a little bit worried this morning. Uh, we came out of the hotel, but the roads are nice and clear. There is a bit of snow. And um, but I saw people streaming into the event, so so I think people left a little bit earlier, and we've got no problems actually here around the NEC. Okay, um, and in the studio we've got uh, Robin and uh, just you, Robin. Yes, Robin and his. Wow, you say uh, just uh, you, but you're well, getting the Ash, important ones here. He's got Ash, an Italian greyhound, a very oh, little mini. This is Ash. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dog, Ash. And uh, and Good. Isabel, your dog is a Cavapuchin called never Luna. I might give you this puppy back. Is this a puppy? It is a puppy. That's uh, Luna, and she's uh, probably like ten weeks now. Can I keep her? No, she's Aww. going back to her owners I want to today. I keep her forever. She's amazing, I right? Her like a baby already. Absolutely I was sort of amazing. Found myself bouncing. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah. but look, this is we're talking all. I need to close my laptop. I'm being told so we can get a good view of the puppy. Don't worry, puppy. I'm just moving my. Papers around. There we go. Look. There you go. <gasps> oh. Yeah, but listen, I mean, I know you're obsessed with Luna there, but Ash, I've never seen a dog like Ash before. Tell me about... Italian Greyhound. Yeah? She's f just over three months old. I think three and a half months old. Does she get bigger? Not that much bigger. She'll grow a little bit, but they're tiny little dogs. Look at her. Yeah. And she's got such long legs. She's Goodness beautiful, me. right? Oh my so goodness. she's small and she will run very fast, won't she? I'm not so sure about running very fast, but she is the most cuddly, gorgeous dog. She just wants to nuzzle in and oh cuddle you. Oh. And are, the... you. are you an exhibitor? Will you exhibit these dogs? I won't. I'm, uh, I'm not uh, at Crufts this year. I've been many times before. Mm -hmm. I love Crufts because you get to see every breed of pedigree dog. Of which there's over 200. Yeah. You get to see the what they're all after, the best in show, the coveted prize. No. Uh, but I do no. think if we put Ash in, she could be best in show. What do you think? I de definitely be very. I I'm mean, totally not involved in this conversation. I'm having my own little. Oh, you look. She's, she yes. Yeah, she. She's just trying to snuggle in. Hi. She she, she is a cavapuchon. Oh, cavapuchon. Right. So what so, does that mean? So that's a King Charles Cavalier. Yeah. A poodle mm -hmm. and a Bichon frieze. Oh gosh, I'm completely Ava gosh, Sean. gosh, so she's totally engineered then, is she? Yeah, she's totally <laughs> engineered. It's a really popular breed. Everyone loves the King Charles Cavalier. And the poodle and the Bichon the bring in that? a curly coat, which is hypoallergenic. Go for a walk. So, yeah. really the very popular. I'm scared. Oh, she's a bit <laughs> soggy around the back. <laughs> oh, we, won't, we won't dwell on that. Oh, she's very sweet. Very, very uh, nice. We should talk about the best in show today. Yes, OK. Go, oh, no, you can't drink that. You, can't. you cannot drink that, little one. <laughs> Sorry, she's a dream. you take over, you can't, I'm a bit distracted. Because that gin will, won't go down well <laughs> at that time of the morning. Hello. Um, Hello. So, Bill, from, from your point of view and, and at Crofts, I mean, how many people are you expecting you uh, to turn up um, over the next few days until <laughs> till Sunday, I believe? Hello. 150,000 pound, 150,000 people through the door. So it's a big, big show. Of course, it's people from all around the world, not just the UK. We've got about 3,000 dogs from overseas. So it is, it's not really like the World Cup final for, for dogs. Um, and it's become such a big event. It's growing year upon year. Had a little bit of a dip during COVID, of course, but we're back with a bang this year. And, and where do you stand? I mean, like, we, we've got an Italian greyhound here and a cava push on in, in the studio. Um, uh, are there new categories all the time for new breeds? 
Yeah, there are new breeds, but breeds, we have a 222 breeds at the moment. We've got a new breed across this year, the Bavaria Mountain Hound, which is a dog we've not seen before. They're a bit like a beagle, lovely russet brown colour. Um, they're a little bit longer than they are tall, but we, I can tell you lots about Italian Greyhounds, for instance, which are great dogs, and they will run, they will actually hunt, but they're, they're lovely, loving companions. Of course, when you get a, a Cavapuchon, which is a mix of three breeds, a little yeah. bit more difficult to predict. See, they don't necessarily take all the genes that you want from the sides of the pedigree. So a little bit less predictable, but um, and that's yeah. why pedigree dogs have become so popular over the years. Well, Bill, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming you're a dog owner yourself. Uh, you're head of health and welfare there at the, the Kennel Club. Um, what's your favourite dog or what has been your favourite dog, type of dog, breed of dog throughout the years? Well, I've grown, I grew up with bull terriers. My parents had bull terriers. Luckily, as I've got a bit older, I've downsized now. I now have miniature bull terriers, which are one of our vulnerable breeds, one of the breeds that we really learn about because they're dwindling in numbers. So I've got those now, but they fit my lifestyle. I've had them all my life. I know all about the breed. They're not the breed for everybody. And that's why we, we're really trying to promote responsible dog ownership, getting people to choose the right breed for them. With 222 different choices, they all have different characteristics, all unique in their own way, and you can <laughs> find a dog to fit your lifestyle. Thank you, Bill. Got to Thank say you. goodbye to you. Have a good show. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You so, much. so, Robin, the thing is, are these dogs Bill. yours? Are these for sale? No, these are clients' dogs, but I do offer a puppy finding I'm service. Suddenly, very interested yeah. in a Cavapuchon. Oh, don't mm. go too close to the edge, little one. Um, so, yeah, I find all sorts of dogs for clients. Um, we always have to focus on um, trying to find very healthy puppies. Yes, yeah. Uh, so we look for DNA health-checked parents uh -huh. in these days. Uh -huh. uh, if they're DNA, they can check for over 200 diseases. Uh -huh. And we're looking for, peop you know, ideally um, dogs from uh, very ethical breeders who don't overbreed their dogs. So, you know, yeah. one, two, well, you've got two men of three litters. Two beautifully curious dogs with lovely temperaments. That's the thing about it. Very them. sweet. Um, we've got to say goodbye to you. Thanks Thank very you. much. I'm Robin. sorry, I was totally useless then. No, no, then. absolutely fine. It's so lovely to there. come in. Oh, my pen, my pen's she's stolen your pen. She's taking my pen He's away. very attached to that pen. Yeah, yeah. I've learned the hard way. <laughs> you can't have it, Luna. You can't have it. She's adorable. Brilliant, absolutely adorable.